Hi guys, just wanted to hop on here really quick to say that I del accidentally deleted all of Monday's footage and most of Tuesday's footage, so you'll see that Tuesday's very short, and then we'll go into Wednesday, but this is still a jam-packed vlog, and I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Today's quote of the day is, okay, I know these are kind of cheesy, but let me know if you think they're cute, because I like them. Little by little, day by day, what's meant, to, what's meant for you will find its way. There's no, it's not by anyone, it's just a quote I found. Journaling done. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. Today's quote of the day is, somewhere there is a past to you overflowing with pride at how far you've come. I love this one because I think a lot of times it's so easy to be so critical of ourselves and I think a way to kind of curb that is to think back to a younger version of yourself. 15 year old me or 10 year old me have come a really long way and it's just nice to remind myself of that whenever I'm feeling like overwhelmed or like I'm not doing enough that I have come really far. So anyways, good morning, happy Wednesday starting the day with amazing vibes and yeah, cheers. So we're gonna make a Shirley Temple. Like actually a Shirley Temple, that's not a metaphor for something else. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. Feeling a lot better. When I woke up, I was literally just like, the day started with me knocking over my water bottle all over the floor, um, but I'm feeling a lot better. Good morning, we got snow last night. I'm headed to the rec for a quick little upper body. Maybe a little bit of cardio, if I can squeeze it in, but we'll see. Good morning. These pants are thrifted. And so are the shoes. I like this oh, the outfit is like giving very Carlton, Carlton vibes. Days when I drink coffee, it's like, oh, this is fun and cute. Today, I'm holding on to this for dear life and hoping it works. <laughs> Cheers. Ah, let's go for a run. Okay, guys, 
here's my outfit today. I meant to film it this morning, but I ran out of time. The jeans are American Eagle. The boots are Doc Martens. This shirt is from, I don't, it has a Forever 21 tag, but I think I thrifted it, but I'm not sure. And then this is a thrifted, I don't know why I'm going to like this. A thrifted, I got this last week at Goodwill. It's been a really good day. I'm kind of more tired than normal, but I got three shots of espresso, so hopefully I can get hyped for Ski Club. Okay guys, so literally the theme of my whole week has been this problem set. Like, I've been working on it so much. Oh wait, I didn't, I forgot to add the first page. Dang it. Ugh, that's so annoying. Okay, wait, hold on. Um, but I'm turning it in right now. And I was thinking, I don't think, I like genuinely like don't remember, but I feel like I haven't vlogged very much this week. But most of it is just because I've literally just been grinding. Um, but we are turning in the problem set, which is so exciting. I'm trying to think if I have anything interesting to say. I really don't. It's been like a good week. Um, yesterday, my friend Vanessa and I went out to Carboni's. They have like, it's like this little, I don't know, pizza place that has like a college night and that was fun. Um, but yeah, today's been a good Friday. I'm um, turning in this problem set, gonna do a little more work and then go to ski club and that's gonna be it for the day. So that's exciting, um, but yeah. I'm trying to think of what else I can add to make this vlog. A lot of you guys ask me about like time management. Like I get a lot of messages about that. So I'm trying to sprinkle in little bits. Um, I think a lot of it is just like, like probably the biggest thing is like right now, I have probably like 30, 40 minutes before I need to go to my next thing. And like, I could absolutely, if I really wasn't feeling it, like read my book or go on TikTok. But instead I'm gonna use this time to like get started on my homework for the weekend. And I think, Kind of having like an opportunistic mindset is so important in like managing your time with a busy schedule um, because Carlton is literally so, like it's not just me, it's like everyone at Carlton just has crazy schedules and so it just takes a lot of like discipline and being like, okay, like I'm not gonna scroll on TikTok right now, I'm gonna like do something productive, um, squeezing in those little moments of work when you can. So there's a tip. I got three shots of espresso, I'm working on it, but we're gonna do a little bit of homework. for skiing got stuck. I decided I'm going to be driving next week. Buses in the Minnesota winter are just not it. Good morning guys. Happy Saturday. It is like 6 a.m. and I'm getting ready for work. Finish my shift. Slay. Let's go to Target. Hi guys, happy Saturday. I just finished my shift at work and I was like, okay, I'm not getting Starbucks tomorrow because today, because normally I like on the weekends, I try to make Sunday my day, I buy coffee, but I'm like, you know what? It's okay to buy a coffee on Saturday and Sunday. Like sometimes you just gotta keep yourself happy. And also I had a gift card um, that my mom gave me. So shout out mom. I got a double shot of espresso with salted caramel sweet cream cold foam. And I was like, so the guy was like, how much extra does it cost for cold foam? Because I was curious if it's like different in Minnesota. He was like a dollar and I was like, hmm. And I was like, could I get it in a grande cup so, to like really make it worth the dollar? And he was like, of course. So he wrote like, um, do a lot, which was just so sweet. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling good, feeling happy. I literally just got like uh, vinegar, yogurt, soy milk, and hair conditioner. So nothing exciting. I'm so happy. I'm proud of myself because I stuck to my list. Um, but yeah, work was good this morning. I work as a CNA at a retirement center and it was a good day. Um, I'm about to go try and grind out some homework and then go to the gym. And then I think I'm probably gonna have an early night tonight. My friends and I might go to Applebee's, um, have a little like appetizer moment, I don't know. And then tomorrow morning, okay, I've decided that every Sunday I'm doing like 
a date with myself or every Sunday that I can because it's it's not feasible every Sunday I don't think but I think I'm gonna go take a hot yoga class tomorrow morning and and then go to Trader Joe's I'm trying to get creative with it and the hot yoga class is kind of expensive it's like $19 and I'm like it's kind of I'm like oh my god like that's a that's a, for me $20 is like a lot of money to spend on like a one-hour thing but I think it would be really good for the mind body and soul and like just thinking back to last week like going and doing my own little thing Sunday morning truly like made my whole week like just something about taking myself on a date I'm so into it and it makes me so happy so I'll, obviously I'll keep you guys updated let you know what I'm doing tomorrow but for now it's time to do be a productive grinding stem girly so let's let's go home also I'm literally like I've been playing flowers by Miley Cyrus and anti-hero by Taylor Swift like that's the only two songs I listen to lately, so okay. okay, let's go. Y'all, one thing about me is that I will romanticize my life. So we have a lovely little stack board and we're gonna study. And sometimes when you don't want to study, you have to and you still have to. My biggest advice would be to romanticize it. Like go to the library and pretend you're at Princeton University and you're just the smartest girly pop in the world. Or like having a little cozy moment at home, like light a candle, put on your salt lamp, make a little snack board. Like I think one of the biggest ways to stay motivated is to really make things enjoyable. So yeah, we're gonna study now. I've got my little setup and I'm in a really good mood. Happy Saturday. Good morning, guy. Oh, let me take off my jacket before I try. Happy Sunday. I'm going to a hot yoga class and I woke up this morning and I was like for some reason I woke up and I didn't feel like 10 out of 10 even though I like went to bed super early last night but and so I was like unsure if this plan was right and then I went back to bed for a little bit woke up feeling a lot better now um journal started a little bit of homework I did like 10 minutes of homework but mm, we're going to a hot yoga class right now and I just think it's gonna be so good for me. I'm trying to find ways to like invite calm into my life and I think that hot yoga is kind of like, like for me, I would say it's equivalent to like going and getting a massage for a much cheaper price. Like it's just so good, makes you feel so good. So I'm doing it. This is your reminder or your sign that it's so good to go and do things on your own and to treat yourself. So we're gonna go to hot yoga, then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. Maybe we'll get a Starbucks on the way home and then we're doing it today. I'm helping, I'm not even helping teach it. I'm like observing teaching a CPR class because I'm getting trained to be a CPR teacher. So that's exciting. And then we've just got a lot of homework to do today. It's gonna be an awesome day. I'm feeling so good. And yeah, we need to hit the road so I can make it to this class on time. Cheers. Also this fit, so cute. Vest from Goodwill, shirt from Goodwill. Really just slaying the day. I'm gonna go ice, de-ice my windshield real quick. All right, y'all. Let's hit the freaking road. I'm so excited. Happy Sunday. Guys, that yoga class was so good. I feel so chill. What an awesome way to start the Sunday. Um, and it was like sweaty, but not like too sweaty. Like it was just right. I definitely like need to shower, but like it was really nice. Um, so yeah, now we're headed to Trader Joe's and I will see you guys there. Alright guys, successful Trader Joe's run. Let me give you a little haul while we're in the Starbucks drive through line. I don't know, my theme today is just loving myself and treating myself and I'm like, I feel like I should have a reason to be doing all this. I, Cause it feels like it's my birthday, like hot yoga, Trader Joe's, Starbucks, like all the favorite things. But then I'm like, like there's always time to enjoy your life at the end of the day. So yeah, I didn't go too crazy but I did get a lot of snacks, so let's show you. I got Pirate's Booty, this like um, rice cracker mix. These are so necessary, so good. 
Um, I got some dark chocolate peanut butter cups to put in the freezer for a little treat. I got these. This is about to be my afternoon treat with coffee. Like, I'm so excited about this. They're like chocolate coated dunkers. My friend Izzy, one time I went to Trader Joe's and I was like, do you want anything? And she asked for these and I was inspired. So I hope, I actually have not tried them, but I mean, I don't see how they could be not good. It's literally chocolate chip cookies dipped in chocolate. I got some of these peanut butter pretzels. Love these as a study snack. Yeah, there's more. I got plantain chips, these Cheeto things, and spicy mangoes. Now, if I had access to go to Trader Joe's every week, I would try and like limit myself to like one or two snacks and then like eat them all and then buy more. But because I probably won't be going to Trader Joe's for another two or three weeks um, for another Sunday date, but I don't, I don't want to go every week. So I did kind of stock up and then I, I got a few more things. <laughs> You've got to like do little things to keep yourself happy because it can be like, I know a lot of people, like I have a lot of friends who experience and like talk about seasonal depression and not to get, I don't want to like get too deep on this because obviously I'm not an expert on mental health and I would say that like, I don't really, like I, I think everyone to some degree experiences seasonal like sadness, but I don't, for me, I'd, I'm not like clinically, like I'm, I don't have clinical depression, so I don't want to talk too much about it, but I know that like in general in the winter, and that's a very se serious thing, but like a lot of people tend to experience like seasonal sadness or just like feeling down. And I hope that I'm inspiring you to like do little things, make yourself happy. And it doesn't have to be you spending money on things. Like today, yes, I spent money on Trader Joe's and Starbucks and those things. But like also like sometimes it can just be like a nice little walk um, with your headphones on and make a coffee from home and take it with you. Like it can be, you can, Enjoy your life in an affordable way. It doesn't have to be like shopping. Um, but doing little things like that for yourself just makes me feel so good. Like tonight, I think I'm gonna like have a little popcorn and movie night and like get into it. So yeah, anyways. But first we have a lot of homework to do today. I'm kind of acting like I just am not in school, but I have a lot to do today. Um, I got four avocados today. I'm gonna take these to the dining hall for like breakfast. I got carrots vegetable fried rice because I got these two like emergency meals because this Friday I came home from ski club and I had nothing to eat but ramen and it was really not good so I have these two options a little bit not that they're high in protein but like they've got a little bit more to them um, so yeah that's exciting I also have oat milk creamer green tea mochi boba boba um What is this? This is a boba kit. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I love this little treat, little study treat. Um, and then last but not least, I got these hold the dairy cones. Oh, I also got myself flowers to make a little bouquet on my desk to make me happy. And also I know that baby's breath dries nicely, so hopefully I can just like keep it um, for the rest of the year. Damn, this line is long, but I'm too far in it. There's like four people behind me. So anyways, there's the Trader Joe's haul. Let's get Starbucks. What can we get started for you today? Hi, could I do three shots of espresso over ice? Three shots of espresso over ice. And can I do it in a venti cup with extra Elta Caramel cold foam? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah! Guys, my second day in a row getting cold foam. <sighs> you know what? It's the weekend and I have a gift card, so don't come at me. There Thank you, you so You're much. Awesome. Have a good day. <gasps> Yo, get into it. We got the coffee. This is my caffeination for the day. Let's head back to school. Put the flowers. I'm home now. I just finished my um, CPR class, which is really good. It's nice because, so I'm training for the position of teaching the CPR classes, but it was really nice to see how um, the person the girl who is currently the teacher does it because it's just nice to know like start to be like okay this is what i'll be doing next term when i'm teaching them so that was awesome put my flowers in this little vase so cute whoever had my room last left this year so i've stolen it but um 
yeah, feeling good. I'm gonna head to the library now. Long day of homework ahead. But yeah, it's been an awesome morning. I'm glad I got my work out of the way. And yeah, let's go to the library and grind. Just grind. Also, I took a V shower, like I did my hair and shaved and everything. So we're feeling 10 out of 10.